Hello, Bubbly Bears. This week, we're going to be talking about the letter O. I hope you had a great week last week talking about the letter A. And boys and girls, as we're traveling and doing a letter per week, I need you to work on all of these letters. There are 26 letters, big letters, 26 lowercase letters. I need you to learn all of those letters and those sounds, okay? So let's zoom in to the letter O. O says ah and O. Oh. Let's read my O book. Remember the spine, the title, that's the back of the book. There's the front. And this book was written by Jane Moncure, illustrated by Colin King. Let's read my O book and see what we can find out for O. Little O had a box. I would find things that begin with my O sound, he said. I would put them into my sound box. Little O hopped away, hop, hop, hop. Look at that, he's going to find things that start with the letter what? The letter O, good job. He found otters in a pond. Did he put the otters into his box? He did. Boys and girls, those are otters. Little O found an octopus. Did he put the octopus into the box with the otters? He did, take a look there. But the otters did not like the octopus. The otters hopped out of the box, hop, hop, hop. Wonder why they didn't like the octopus because he has eight arms and he was grabbing them. You're exactly right. Little O put a top on the box so the octopus could not get out. Then he put the otters on top of the box. Away he went, hop, hop, hop. Then Little O found an ostrich, say ostrich. He hopped onto the ostrich, hop, he said. So now there's an ostrich, otters, and an octopus for the letter O. But the ostrich would not hop, oh no. So little O put the ostrich on top of the box. Look at that, on top of the box. Now the box was too heavy. Little O found an ox. You are just what I need for my box, he said. Boys and girls, ox, that's a strong animal there. Away they went, hop, 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 all the way home. Look at all those things. Little O took his things out of the box. So what did he take out? The ox, the octopus, ostrich, and otters. What funny things he had. So he was amazed at what he had for the letter O. Can you read these words with little O? Here's some more words for O. Say October, olives. Ocelot, operator, ah, ah. Now let's take a look. Little O has another sound in some words. He says his name, O. Let's read these words. Say oatmeal, say opal, say O. So O, O, ocean, O, O, oatmeal, O, O, opal, ah, ah, ostrich, ah, ah, ox, ah, ah, otter. So O has two sounds because it's a vowel. Ah and what? O. I hope you enjoyed this story. Now, I'm going to teach you how to make uppercase and lowercase O. Not hard at all. Here we go. Big curve, big curve. You see that? Big curve, big curve. Lowercase O, small curve, small curve. And lowercase O stays downstairs, okay? So today, you're going to be O detectives. I need you to find all the letter O's there. Then you're going to trace uppercase O, big curve, big curve. Then you're going to make your own, stay upstairs. Then you're going to make lowercase O, trace them, and make your own, stay downstairs. Remember, quality work is the best work. And here's my model right there. Mrs. Brown uses a marker. You are to use a pencil. Use your lapis to get this done. Happy O week.